The mission of the Montana Air National Guard in Great Falls is scheduled to change. That would mean the F-15s now here would be leaving. But there is a push to keep those planes around. We take a closer look at the issue in tonight's top story. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Klaus. Well, for now, F-15s are still flying over Great Falls, and as the mission of the Montana Air National Guard changes to handle cargo planes, Montana's congressman is stepping in to try and keep the fighter jets in the state. ABC 5's Charlie Keegan spoke with Congressman Denny Reberg about this issue today. And Charlie, how does he hope to keep the F-15s in Great Falls? Dan, he hopes an amended amendment attached to the National Defense Authorization Act will keep the planes in Montana. He helped craft the language of the attachment, which says money can't be used to transfer Air Force or Army aircrafts. This way, the F-15s can't leave the state's Air Guard. Currently, the F-15s sitting up on Gore Hill and Great Falls are scheduled to leave for the California Air National Guard in Fresno later this year. By 2014, Maine will house eight C-130 cargo planes, which are being moved from the Texas Air Guard. The change in missions at the base means a cut in personnel by about 150 positions. Almost a year ago, officials pushed back moving the F-15 Fresno. Then the Pentagon canceled all C-27J missions, which were originally meant to here. Now officials in some southern states are asking the president not to transfer the C-130s to Montana. Reberg says all this means it's time to take a step back and look at the situation. His amendment makes that possible by stopping the transfer of any planes. We're all scratching our heads saying, are you having a difficult time over the Department of Defense figuring out uh, where you want to be in the 21st century? And you're, you're playing this like pawns, and it's disruptive, it's expensive, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and maybe it's time to put the pause button on. Reberg says the F-15 is a good fit for Montana because of the state's wide-open flying space. He also says it's easier to keep a mission in Montana than to bring in a new one. Reberg's solution is a one-year fix because the amendment is part of a budget bill, which changes every year. The House will debate the bill tomorrow in Washington, D.C. Then it'll head on over to the Senate and eventually to the president's desk. Charlie, what are the leaders in the Montana Air National Guard saying about this amendment? Dan, a representative from the Guard says the organization is still following the president's budget, which calls for the F-15s to leave and the C-130s to arrive. Charlie Keegan, ABC5.